Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a DNA V pattern tie dye shirt. Using my yardstick, I measure from the collar to the sleeve, and I split the difference. That's where I'm going to create the V. So the measurement up top is about four inches between each dot. So I came down to the bottom and I measured out four inches, created a dot, and then connected those dots and made my first line. And then I'm just gonna continue to do that all the way up the shirt, keeping the distance between the lines four inches apart. Now you want to accordion fold up that line and the goal is to keep those lines as straight as possible. Secure with rubber bands or kite string, whichever you prefer. Continue with the rest of the shirt the same way. Make your accordion folds and secure with rubber bands.
Using washable markers, I mark out my dye pattern. So this shirt sat for several days and it's completely bone dry. It's actually literally repelling the dye and it's very frustrating. So you're going to see me add little bits of dye. I'm trying to break that surface tension so that the dye will seep in. It didn't really work very well, but I tried. Since I had such a hard time getting the dye to penetrate this shirt, I decided to let it sit for 30 minutes before coming back and flipping it over. So this is where the DNA pattern happens. You want to move each color over one space.
So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll notice that I always have problems with my Raven Black. I just can't get it to dissolve. So I get little bits stuck in the tip and then it just doesn't want to come out. It's very frustrating. So now I'm going to put the shirt inside of a tote and put the lid on it and it needs to batch for a minimum of 24 hours. I always batch for 48 hours. So it's been 48 hours and it's time for the rinse. When I came to take the shirt out of the tote, I was a little bit worried because it was completely black, which you'll see when I flip it over. So when you start your rinse, you want to rinse with cold water. That stops any soda ash that might be left in the shirt. And then you want to gradually increase the water up to hot. You want to rinse until the water runs basically clear. See how black it is? I was completely freaked out. So you can reuse your rubber bands. Just give them a quick rinse, set them aside on a paper towel and let them dry, and then just reuse them. So from here the shirt's going to go to the washing machine. I do a hot water cycle, then I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is a textile detergent. Then I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft to bring softness back to the shirt.
So here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried. And considering how way oversaturated it was, I think it turned out fantastic. You can see the DNA splits pretty good. There are a few areas where the oversaturation shows, but it's not too bad. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.